What's up, guys? Opex again. You're tuned into the mind of Opex. And I'm thinking I'm probably not going to upload this video, but I'm going to make it anyways, check it over, make sure that it's okay. Because what I want to talk about today might lose me all of my subscribers. So get ready for it. <laughs> probably already seen the title whatever I'm gonna name this and uh, you might have clicked this video because of curiosity I am gonna be talking about rape this is a tough video to make <laughs> this is a tough video so I gotta take off the glasses so you can understand where I'm coming from a little bit better <laughs> I'm very skeptical about making this video, but I feel like it's necessary, or at least can uh, bring you to a different level of understanding. I'm going to start it off by saying I do not agree with anybody who rapes. Raping in today's modern age, first off, you have no right to rape another. You have no right. God did not give you these rights. These are not a right. Perhaps in the past it was a privilege, but it is absolutely, you have no right to rape another. I, I feel very strong about this. I think that's common sense, right? Raping another is, you turn somebody into a victim, you destroy their life, you destroy their families. It's just not a pleasant thing to do. But, but, I understand why people rape. I understand. Now, I'm not trying to bring justice to those who rape others. But, I'm giving you something to think about. Again, this is a tough video to make, but I have to put this out there and like I said I'm gonna lose a lot of subscribers you might have a friend or you may be a rape victim yourself I'm very empathetic if you're not familiar with my past videos I talk about a extreme level of empathy but the problem with the extreme level of empathy that I feel toward the rape victim I sadly as an empath feel for the rapist as well And this is a tough video to make. Don't make this harder on me than it has to be. So, let's start it off with the animal kingdom. You have a couple goats out in the field. The males fight each other to be able to rape the girls, the females. I mean, you think little chickens love to get raped? by the cocks, by the roosters. I don't know. But it's necessary. I can go on and on and on about the animal kingdom. You can see it all over the world. From birds to reptiles to everything. Every living creature rapes another. Crickets. Insects. Um, now there are these such thing as love. Love, and uh, you'll see it in like the, the, the bigger animal, the mammal kingdom, that a lot of them actually undergo a form of love, like they have a bond. But most certainly, if you do not have that bond, you have to procreate. It's natural. And if the female's unwilling, the guy has to do what it has to do to procreate. It's something in our DNA. It's something It's something to do with survival of the species. Not every female is just going to be willing. If you look at in the ape kingdom and the chimpanzees and the monkeys, they don't form a bond. They make the woman, the female, subject to their will and to Go outside of that social boundary 
they get attacked. So they're conformed to rape. It's sad, yes, but it's, it's what happens. It's kind of necessary in their development, in their evolution. Humans. Humans in the past, you can... You believe the Earth has only been around for X amount of years, or humans have only been around, whatever, this doesn't apply to you. Um, I don't have a specific belief in that, but... How I look at it is we still have that animal brain. The monkey brain, the reptilian brain, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to just call it the monkey brain. Your monkey brain basically is like the older evolutionary path of the humans. Which, if a woman isn't willing, you still got to do what you got to do. You hear the stories of cavemen. Now, again, I don't have a specific belief on this, but you hear the stories of cavemen that would bonk their female on the side of the head or, like, find this female out and vulnerable, bonk her on the head, and do what they have to do. Um, there's a reason why most men come fast. They ejaculate fast because in the order of the rape thing, now every man can overpower any woman, unless they're literally like mixed martial artists train every day. Every man can easily overpower a female. It's natural for our evolutionary features to do so. Um, so if a man finds a woman vulnerable and let's say they haven't had sex in X amount of years or whatever, and uh, something in the monkey brain triggers, it's something similar to the past. It's something you can control, so I'm not justifying your actions or these rapists' actions. I'm not justifying it, but I understand where it triggers in the mind. Um, most men come fast because they had to subdue a woman and fuck her as fast as possible, come, the feeling goes, they part ways, or they might have a romantic bond. Um, but through life and through evolution, let's call it, we've created societies where we don't need to rape anymore. Women find pleasure in sex now. And uh, we've evolved to get out of that monkey brain and, you know, basically have families and, and raise your kids right and, and, you know, create this consciousness evolution that we've had. And uh, we don't really apply the monkey brain anymore, but it's still there. Scientists always talk about the reptilian side of your brain, um, and that's still there. So there is an aspect to rape that is 100% natural. It's natural. But through society and through our evolution of consciousness and through everything that we've been through to progress as a species, we don't, A, need to rape anymore to procreate. Humans are going to be around forever. They're going to be around forever. That was a fucking <laughs> shot in the dark right there. Humans have a way of interacting with each other to coerce each other instead of raping. So now we coerce each other. We, you know, whisper sweet nothings or, you know, you make her laugh and get her to like you. You know, we coerce ourselves onto them so then we can procreate. Um, in the past, there was less coercion and there was more rape. Now, again, if you look on the animal side of the world, you see more rape than coercion. And that was essential for their evolution to do so. And that's essential for ours. We could not have been here today without a lot of that rape going on. Today, it's still natural for places in Africa and the Middle East to continually rape. It's natural. It's in their, you know, in their, uh, in their society, it's normal. And that's because they have not evolved to the level we have evolved, let's say, as Americans, even though 
we've evolved to sitting on the couch watching TV but eating Doritos. But nevertheless, we have evolved to not need that anymore. We don't need to rape anymore. I feel like I'm going to lose a lot of subscribers like I'm saying it's normal to rape or something. And I don't really care because I do want to dive into these controversial concepts uh, so people can understand it because it's not something you'll hear about in the mainstream. Yes, I feel very empathetic to those victims of rape because nowadays it's not as normal as getting raped and moving on and having children and uh, you know now if you get raped and have children it's more devastating because you could have thought about the life you could have you you know the experience itself is traumatic uh, th there's so much to it that uh, you know it sucks and all I'm trying to say is that there was a reason for the rape it didn't just fall out of the sky like I wanted to make you a victim and traumatically traumatize you now I'm sure there's some of them out there and but I do agree with punishment for that kind of behavior like I'm trying to explain, it's 100% normal, it's 100% natural in real life, outside of the Matrix. It's real life shit like in the animal kingdom. It's normal. Animals don't punish other animals like that, unless you're fucking his girl. You know, like if the rhino catches another rhino, fucking, it's rhino, it's girl. You know, I understand that that motherfucker might, you know, retaliate and attack. I understand. Same thing today. If you are, you have a girlfriend and somebody is having sex with it and you walk in on it, what do you do? Well, whatever, such is life. No. If that's someone that you wanted to be with in the whole nine and you have feelings and love and all that, you're gonna fuck that fucker up. Um, and, it, you know, it's pretty natural. So we see these natural things occurring. But, again, we have the willpower now to say no. Um, I don't believe as much that animals think about the traumatic effect of the other because they don't see it and that there is actually no traumatic effect that occurs. There is none. I don't see it. When I see... Okay, so... I used to live out in the country for a few years when I was a teenager, and there was always this duck, it was a male duck, that would come around our pond. Male duck coming around our pond. And every year, it would come, come around. Every year. Same exact one. And what it would do is, uh, it would come to our pond, and we had a rooster roosters clearly mail itself as well and every year this duck would come around to get raped by the rooster every year never stops leave for the fall come back in the spring and get anal raped by that rooster until the rooster died one year and then all of a sudden we noticed that the duck didn't come around anymore but uh the point is that I'm trying to get at is that it wasn't traumatic, it was normal. It was so normalized that even a homosexual wanting rape duck would come around our pond area, which we had chickens and a uh, few roosters, at least one at it we always had. Um, but the point is that I'm trying to get at is it's so normal, there is no traumatic effect. There is no repercussions. It's so normal that they embrace it. Um, when you see two animals, let's say two goats, right, who aren't in the wild, they're actually domesticated. Uh, that's a strange way to say it, but uh, they are actually in a fenced-in area together, and they're forced to interact with each other. Of course that goat's going to have its way with the other goat. Duh! But if a guy and a girl are trapped in an elevator together for 
let's say, a couple hours trapped in between floors or something, the guy doesn't necessarily go over and rape the girl, does he? Oh, but I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to fuck the shit out of you. No, I don't think that's... There's something in us now that have evolved to just because you're in the vicinity of this uh, person, you don't just fucking fuck it. But there is left behind traces of that, a survival type instinct. Um, you hear, you understand like through television and comedy, you'll see like things like, you know, joking about, you know, if you were falling down on a plane or something, you know, that you would just try to fuck the first girl that you see, right? Because it's your last moments to live. There's something in there, in your brain, still, that remains today, that has that, I have to do this to survive, to, to, to procreate. There's something in there. There's a reason why you come fast as a guy. Generally, unless you got whiskey dick, blah, blah, blah. We can talk about that for hours. But there's a reason why you come fast as a guy. It's because you need to procreate. Now, we have evolved to be able to last longer because now we have more enjoyment out of it since the female counterpart enjoys it as well. So, in a nutshell, I don't want this to be forever. If I lose subscribers because... I'm justifying rape, which I'm extremely empathetic. The problem with empaths is that you don't just feel sorry for everyone, like the innocents, you feel sorry for the assholes too. There's something about it, I can't, it's one of the weaknesses of empaths. But I'm an empath and I see things. I put myself in their shoes and a lot of times I'm disgusted to the point of I can't really think about it, but I can't help myself but put myself in everyone else's shoes, understand them to the level of, you know, the utmost understanding. So that that's a short video for you guys. I got plenty of better content coming soon. I just wanted to throw that out there and uh, be shunned on the internet for it. Again, I'll say it one last time. I don't justify rape from humans nowadays. I, don't, I wouldn't justify it for humans 10,000 years ago, but it was essential, especially when you don't have houses and, and things that uh, bring up a family and, and, and intelligence and all the things we got now that we take it for granted. So that's, I guess that's it. So again, I will instill the peace, love, longevity, and happiness aspect at the end of the video because I want everyone to at least put yourself in other people's shoes. Yes, it's horrid, and I do not. I would castrate somebody if they raped my loved one. I would fucking beat the shit out of them if they did anything to somebody that I love, let alone if I even hear a story about them being a rapist because you can stop yourself, but I still have to put myself in their shoes. All right, see you guys. Well,